Welcome back to English 4.0, the radio show. Let's go! Advanced. Advanced. Yes, that's right. It is time for the advanced portion of class number 60. The big 6-0. Oh, that's right. Class 60 here. And uh, we were talking about the verb to wish. In fact, we've been talking about this verb for a while now. I wish I could finish talking about it. I wish you would master this verb already so I wouldn't have to keep talking about it. I wish I could move on. Well, I'm, I shouldn't say that. I'm not doubting you because I feel... I think that you probably know this verb quite well by now. So I think we can move on. But let's practice one final structure here. A, this specific drill here where I will say something that something negative that happened to you and then you can just give me an appropriate sentence using I wish. For example, you didn't win the tennis match. And you can say, I wish I had won the tennis match. I wish I had won, or I wish I'd won the tennis match. You went to that party. It was terrible, but you went to that party. I wish I, wish I hadn't gone to that party. Mm. You broke your watch. I wish I hadn't broken my watch. You broke it yesterday. I wish I hadn't broken my watch. So this is, you know, we're talking about things that happened in the past. So as we always do with this structure, I wish, we have to go back one step more. So if we're already in the past, then we have to go back to past perfect. I wish I hadn't broken my watch. Break, broke, broken, 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 broken. I wish I hadn't broken my watch. You didn't have any money left. I wish I had had some money left. I wish I had had some money left. You lost your phone. I wish I hadn't lost my phone. So at home, out loud, I wish I hadn't lost my phone. I needed to make a call, but I didn't have my phone because I lost it. I wish I hadn't lost my phone. Hey, you missed the show. It was fantastic. You missed the show. Oh, really? I wish I hadn't missed the show. You broke your arm. I wish I hadn't broken my arm. You ruined the pizza. You Well, you cooked it too much. You burnt it. You burnt the pizza. I wish I hadn't burnt the pizza. I wish I hadn't ruined it. Yes. And you lost the bet as well. You went to the casino. You put all your money on black. What were you thinking? You, it, you, you knew it was going to be red. Well, I knew it was going to be red. You shouldn't have bet so much. You shouldn't have. I wish I hadn't bet on black. I wish I hadn't lost all my money in the casino. I wish I hadn't lost the bet. I wish I hadn't gone to the casino in the first place. I wish I hadn't listened to your advice telling me to put all my money on black. I wish I hadn't done that. I wish I hadn't done that. I wish I had done something else. I wish I had gone to the cinema instead of going to the casino. I wish I had done something else. Now, you were careless and you fell down the stairs. Ooh. I wish I hadn't fallen down the stairs. Yeah. I wish I hadn't fallen down the stairs. You didn't help me. I wish I had helped you, Kyle. I wish I had helped you. Sorry, I didn't. I wish I had helped you. You would have done better if I had helped you. I wish I had helped you. All right? Good. There we go. The verb to wish. Do you wish you had studied this more over the last few days? Do you wish that I would review it again? Well, 
I think I think we're done for now. But maybe later on we can come back and do a little review. But if you're following along, tune in today. Your teacher will review this again on television today. Okay? If you have any questions too, send me an email. Say, Kyle, send me an e- help me out with the verb to wish, and I can send you some information. I'll give you some help if you want some help. No problem. Okay, send me an email through the website, bauganingles.com, and say, this is a message for Kyle, the radio host, and I will. I, and if you have problems with this, I will help you with it, okay? All right. Now let's move on with a little review of what we were, of the, well, another review from yesterday. We, we also saw translation list eight. So the only thing is, oh, we just need a little bit of music. Yeah, a little music. Let's do it. All right. Translation. Oh, yeah, good. All right, I like that. The jingle. You know, we call that a jingle. Rafaga, the jingle. I had to take care of a little bit of jingle business there. So um, so here we are, and we can start with number one of list eight. Has hecho una evaluación precisa de la situación actual. You've made an accurate assessment. Una evaluación precisa. You've made an accurate assessment of the situación actual, the current situation. No, not actual situation, the current. Because actual is like real, but actual is current. Did you hear that? Did you get that? Actual is current, not actual. You've made an accurate assessment of the current situation. Okay? Number two. ¿Te importaría decirlo para que todo el mundo te pueda oír? Would you mind? ¿Te importaría? Would you mind saying it so that everyone can hear you? ¿Para qué? So that. So that. Excuse me, would you mind saying it so that everyone can hear you? Very good. Number three. Lo traje para que tú lo usaras. I brought it so that you could use it. Para que? So that. So that. I brought it so that you could use it. I like this structure a lot. So that. Para que? I bring my umbrella so that I can stay dry. I wear my watch so that I can know the time. I have a phone so that I can call my friends and so that I can call my office. Para qué? Para qué? So that. Okay? Number four. Él se ha marchado de la empresa para siempre. He's left the company for good. Para siempre. For good. Permanently. Para siempre. For good. Number five, estoy confiado en que los acontecimientos nos darán la razón. I'm confident that events will prove us right. I'm confident that events will prove us right. Number six, es muy arriesgado levantar el embargo. It's very risky to lift the embargo. The embargo. Yes, it's very risky to lift the embargo. Number seven. He encontrado un atajo que nos ahorra mucho tiempo. Mm, qué suerte, ¿no? I've found a shortcut that saves us a lot of time. That saves us a lot of time. Notice how I'm closing my lips with the M. Time. Not time. No, time. That saves, saves, saves us a lot of time. Repeat that. I've found a shortcut. Un atajo. I've found a shortcut that saves us a lot of time. Very good. Habermelo dicho. You should have told me. You should have. 
contraction. You should have told me. You should have told me. Number nine. Casi nunca piden perdón por sus errores. Casi nunca. They hardly ever apologize. Pedir perdón. To apologize. They hardly ever apologize for their mistakes. They hardly ever apologize for their mistakes. And number 10. Tendrás que pasar por un periodo de prueba de tres meses. You'll have to go through a three-month trial period. A three-month, no S, a three-month trial period. How long does a three-month trial period last? Oh, a three-month trial period lasts three months, right? Just like a 10-year-old boy is 10 years old, and a 10-year, and a, a seven-year-old car is seven years old. Hmm. Yes, so a three-month trial period. We're using it like an adjective to describe the trial period. There's just one trial period, but it lasts three months. So we say a three-month trial period. You'll have to go through a three-month trial period. Number 11. Que yo sepa, las cosas marchan bien. As far as I know, things are going well. As far as I know, Things are going well. Hey, how, how are things going? Well, as far as I know, que yo sepa, as far as I know, as far as I know, as far as I know, things are going well. As far as I know, things are going well. Menos mal. Numero 12. This is the last sentence. Pues menos mal, no? Menos mal. It's a good thing. It's a good thing. Menos mal. It's a good thing. It's a good thing. All right. Very good. Well done. I hope you got them all right. Hopefully you got at least 10 out of 12 because we did see them yesterday, right? So how did you do? Did you do well on that? Good. I'm glad. Give yourself a pat on the back if you got at least 10 right out of 12. All right, let's move on. Expression of the day. Yes, it is time for the expression of the day. That's right. You heard the, the music. It is time for the expression of the day. Our expression of the day today is a bean counter. Bean, B-E-A-N. Bean counter. Now, a bean counter, someone, well, if, if you are counting beans, one, two, Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Counting beans. Beans. If you're a bean counter, you're an accountant. Un contable. An accountant. It's, a, it's an expression for an accountant. I'm not a bean counter. I studied accounting, but I didn't really, I didn't really feel passionate about it. I didn't really love accounting. And I didn't feel like becoming a bean counter, an accountant. So I'm not. But uh, I know I have some friends who work as accountants. They're bean counters, you know, bean counters. It's a very casual, colloquial way of saying an accountant. Okay. All right. If only, if only we could finish talking about the verb to wish. And more or less we have. And I said at the start of the show, I said, we're done. Finally, we're finished talking about this, I wish. But now we have if only, which is basically the same thing. Okay? If only. It, and we use it in the same sense as, as the verb to wish. So this ojalá. And again, we take one step back in tense. So we can practice one more time. Well, this new for this, but really it's, it's very much like, it's very similar to I wish. We can practice. So in the past, you lost your keys. Oh, man. If only I hadn't lost my keys. 
No, not didn't. No, no, hadn't. Because we're going back to past perfect, right? I lost my keys yesterday. For example, I lost. Or five hours ago. I don't know. It doesn't matter. But it's in the past. So we have to go back one step, which takes us to past perfect. Because this is what we always have to do when you say ojalá. In Spanish, in, well, in Spanish you say ojalá. In English we can say, oh, I wish... I hadn't lost my keys, or if only I hadn't lost my keys. If only I hadn't lost my keys. Oh, I broke the glass. If only I hadn't broken the glass. I lost her phone number. Ah, oh, darn it. I lost her phone number. If only I hadn't lost her phone number. I wasted the fuel driving across town. I wasted the fuel. If only I hadn't wasted the fuel. You know what's even worse than forgetting her phone number? I forgot her uh, wasting the, the, well, uh, yeah, losing her phone number was I forgot her name. If only you hadn't forgot her name or forgotten. Two participles, just like get got, gotten, forget, forgot, or forgotten. I took the wrong medicine. Oh, if only I hadn't taken the wrong medicine. All right. Yes, it's time. Let's move on to the, well, a little bit of vocabulary now. A little bit of vocabulary. Vocabulary of the day. Vocabulary. Yes, our five words of vocabulary. How do you say in English? Embarazada. Pregnant, right. Aflojar. To loosen. To loosen. I'm going to loosen my collar because it's tight. Llegar a fin de mes. To make ends meet. To make ends, E-N-D-S, meet. Burlarse de, to make fun of, to make fun of, and parcela, de terreno. A plot, a plot of land, a plot of land. Mm-hmm. Now, it's time to finish, but before we do, I will spend 15 seconds talking about the last point, which is to be over the moon. Over the moon is to be extremely excited. Were you over the moon when Spain won the World Cup? Yes, I was over the moon when Spain won, excuse me, not the World Cup, the Euro Cup, excuse me. I was over the moon when Spain won the European Cup. Will you be over the moon if Spain wins the World Cup? Yes, I will be over the moon if Spain wins the World Cup. It means I'll be extremely excited. Estar loco de contento. I will be... Estar por encima de la luna, digamos en inglés. To be over the moon. I'll be so excited I won't be able to control myself. I'll be so excited if Spain wins the World Cup. I'll be very excited personally if Canada wins the gold medal in in hockey, ice hockey, at the next uh, upcoming Winter Olympics. I'll be over the moon. To be over the moon. That's our last point. We're completely out of time. So I'll be back tomorrow, and I hope you will join me same time, same place. I'll see you then. Bye-bye.